self-determination and sets global human rights standards. It also prohibits discrimination, but it's a non-binding aspirational declaration that has no status in law. Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the United States, all nations with large indigenous populations, voted against it but were overruled. They expressed concerns over self-determination, land and resources rights. We believe this declaration, unfortunately, Madam President, fails in all of these respects and Australia cannot therefore support it. Opponents say it will give indigenous people too many rights and clash with existing national laws. The provision on lands and resources simply cannot be implemented in New Zealand. Article 26 states that indigenous peoples have a right to own, use, develop or control lands and territories that they have traditionally owned, occupied or used. For New Zealand, the entire country is potentially caught within the scope of the article. Indigenous advocates say that most of the world's remaining natural resources are within native people's territories. They claim that these lands and territories are currently being threatened. Experts are sceptical of the federal government's reasons for not supporting the declaration. Um, prior to the uh, election of that coalition government, Labor supported the declaration and Rudd has said he will support the declaration. So I think it's a political issue. It's the same in Canada. Before Stephen Harper, Canada supported the declaration and in fact were leaders in negotiating in the declaration working group. Community leaders have slammed the government's stump. That's a bit disappointing because on the one hand Australia has a record of, of uh, supporting you know, internationally human rights issues uh, in other countries, other developing countries, and yet when it comes to Indigenous Australians, they're not willing to support the rights of us, us as Indigenous peoples. The Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Mal Bruff, was unavailable for comment today, but has previously said the declaration could conflict with legitimate legal interests of other people. Emma Hannigan, World News Australia. An outspoken former